Hi guys! So as you can see by my bare naked face and these big blue eyes, today we're going to do a makeup transformation inspired by this amazing skull look from the new 007 movie that just came out in theaters. The one where Daniel Craig goes to a Day of the Dead festival. His piercing blue eyes just really stand out in this makeup look of the Day of the Dead skull. It's actually a mask, I think, in the movie. So today we're going to try to accomplish this because I just think it is so cool. It's very hard to do actually black and white makeup, but it's a very few amount of products. So let's get started. First, I'm using this elastic hairband that I love. I love these ones that look like a bracelet that don't tangle your hair up. And I'm going to use a headband. These are both from the brand Goody. Just to get my hair out of the way. And then I'm going to get the glue stick trick to flatten our eyebrows down where you put one layer of glue, wait for that to dry a little bit to get tacky, put some powder on to wait for it to really set and dry, then do another layer. If you think you need to do three layers or more, you can. And that's what I did because girl, I've got some thick brow hairs, not many of them, but they're very thick and dark. That's what she said. Sorry, I had to. The amount of powder I put on is so excessive. It's like I'm trying to bake a cake and just messing up with all the flour. Absolutely love these purple eyebrows. It should be a new fashion trend that only I would wear and like and care about. Then I'm going to get a white eyeliner pencil and stencil out the whole entire Day of the Dead skull makeup look. You really want to have a reference picture for this because this skull makeup is so Details. I'm doing this one specifically because it is so striking and girl, it's just gorgeous It does almost mimic the exact structure of a real skull except it's a little bit shorter in the draw And there's like dots in like lines and places that skulls don't really have It's just very interesting and I'm like once I saw I'm like I have to do this in a makeup the white eyeliner layout is like studying for a test. Like you could take the test if you think you know it, but if you study, it'll really come out a lot better. Once you think your layout is semi pristine, you are going to get some white cream paint with a paintbrush and paint those eyebrows and around the creases of your nose. I'm doing this in parts that crease a lot, like the nose and the eyebrows because I don't wanna put wet, paint on top of glue stick because then the glue will just not work. It will not be adhesive and tacky anymore. You can have a stronger eyebrow cover with like waxes or latex if you want to use aqua paint, but that's just not really necessary, but you can if you want. I chose this route, setting those cream paints with powder and then getting a white aqua paint. Like I said, you really want to look at the reference picture and make sure you get precisely where the white details of the skull are. Because you want to make sure that the blank spots is where you're going to put the black stay blank or else if you mix the white and black together, you'll just get gray and not solid black versus solid white. I'm doing the white first because it's easier to take away white paint than it is black paint. Making sure you leave open skin or areas to put on black marks on the sides of the skull design later. And then if you make a mistake in areas that you think you should put black paint, it should be bare first, you get a makeup remover wipe and just make it go away before you put on some black paint. Now it's time to finally move on to what we were talking before, the black paint. Starting off with my ears and some aqua paint. This is gonna be very, very tough to take out. You definitely want a shower after this. This makeup isn't for people who don't like to get dirty. Down your neck, if you think that your neck is getting too many creases, you could definitely switch over to cream paint and set them in between. Because if you mix the cream with the aqua, it's gonna get very sticky and gross and not work out too well. And patchy, you don't want that. What you can see is I'm leaving a little bit of a shape on my chest that's in the shape of a tie because I'm going to paint on a white tie after this, which I should have done in the first place, but I forgot because I didn't have a men's white tie and dress shirt. I thought, why not paint it on? You know, try to make things harder than they actually should be. That's like my gift in life. No, but I thought it would really just like challenge me, see if I have the skill to do it. Painting ties and men's clothing, why not? Setting that black paint with some powder. I'm just using baby powder with this because it's cheap, it's quick, it's easy as long as you wait for the paints to dry and it won't pick up that whiteness cast of the powder that it would give. Putting some black paint on that forehead and notice it's not going all the way to my hairline because we're gonna put a hat on later because this character has a awesome hat and I found one like it. Putting more black paint in the mouth region on the sides of those cheeks, a straight line right through your mouth. This is gonna be the base between the two rows of teeth. Now it's time for the eyes. This is some black cream paint. Applying those design lines on the sides of the skull, 
those black thin lines that we talked about earlier. I am just using Ben Nye products because again, it's cheap, it's easy for people to get, and it's great quality. Getting some more cream black paint, I think this is, and doing this upside down heart shape on the nose that mimics the actual skull bone nose of a real skull. That's what I loved about this look. I mean, it's very more exaggerated of a heart than the actual real skull bone nasal cavity nose bone part. Powdering all the black cream paint that we just applied. Then I am getting some black eyeliner. This is the Tartius Clay Black Liner with a very thin, precise, detailed brush. If you do not have this, you can also use any gel liner from the drugstore. Doing some dots on my face and then starting to draw on the teeth on the top row. I say top row because at first I forgot to do the bottom row. Like I said, you really have to study the reference picture from the 007 movie if you wanted to get it exact. You can make this as cool and unique as you want. I always wanted to do another skull makeup, and you guys have been requesting it because my first one, I mean, it was okay, good, but I want to do something more unique and different. And I moved on to the designs of the top of the mouth above those teeth, then those bottom lines below my lip where there's like these holes and two more dots on my chin. Then before I did those bottom rows of teeth, honestly, I almost forgot about them. I am going to get some matte black eyeshadow. This is Corrupt by Makeup Geek, and I am doing some shading around the skull in areas where I think it has more detailed shading. This design definitely has a lot of that, and I'm using a pencil brush so it gives more control so I can make darker spots, and then I could blend it out with this as well into the white. That's why you really want to make sure you powder down these layers of makeup before you move on to other steps because putting Powder on powder is easier to blend than putting powder onto wet, sticky makeup before powdering it. You know what I mean? I love these shadows because they give so much depth and dimension and really make this skull pop out and stand out. Now I finally remember to do those bottom rows of teeth with the black eyeliner. I have to say this was one of the most hardest parts of this makeup to do because it's very detailed and you can screw up very easily doing this and painting in that white tie that I talked about before because I did not have a men's white tie, so I decided to paint it on myself. Then I'm getting some white cream paint and whitening parts of my eyes in those black areas, so that gives a shadow of some gray white cast like it does on the design from the 007 movie and also on my neck. And now it's time to put on our beautiful black hat. This hat reminds me of a mixture of a top hat with a bowler hat. And I absolutely love it. I don't know the designs of hats, but I really like this one. And I decided to paint the bottom chin and make it a little bit shorter because that's what it looks like in the picture of 007. And before I move on, I decided to change up the teeth, the design of it, because like I said, it's very, very hard to do these teeth. And I want to make the two front ones a little bit bigger, just like the original 007 guy has. And I just fixed the nose bone part arch on this makeup really quick. I thought I did it too large and in charge. And now we are complete with the makeup transformation of Daniel Craig's original mask in the movie of 007. I honestly loved this even though it was very difficult to do. This took me almost two full entire hours. It doesn't look like it would be that hard or have that much makeup involved in it, but it is very time consuming with all the detail because I really wanted to look like the original skull from the movie because I'm crazy like that. But now it's time to take this off. But I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup transformation. And what I would like to know today is, what's your favorite character that is dead? Like, is it a zombie from a certain movie or TV show? Is it some sort of ghost? Is it some sort of skull character? Leave me in a comment below because that'd be so cool to do a deadly series. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below. As always, I have so much fun doing these. You guys give me so much inspiration. Thank you so much to PinkyParadise.com for these awesome contact lenses. These blue circle lenses are one of my most used pairs, other than the white mesh are my all-time used and favorites. Shout out to this person who actually suggested that I do this makeup, and I took it to heart, and I studied this, and I'm like, yes, I have to do this. You know me so well. You know I would love to do this. So thank you guys so much for your input and for always watching. I'm really trying to make these videos. I can't wait for the holidays. I have something special for you coming, so stay tuned. To my diehard fans that watch every single video I ever make, there'll be something ahead. And I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye!